today's video is on this makeup look. It's a bronzy, um, very sun-kissed look. Kind of similar to a Kim Kardashian type of like um, bronzy, smoky eye. And um, yeah, just like usual, a nude, pale lip. And that is it. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and welcome to all of my new subscribers. Bye, guys. Um, this is the palette that I used. So I sort of used patina, wood winged, and some highlighting, and browns, as you can see, and the lips are pinks. So I just applied foundation, and now I'm going to use the um, Studio Fix Concealer in NW20. I'm just going to dab it on right under my eye. And that's going to keep me good all day long. And then what I tend to do now is I take the Lirac uh, Dioptiser for a... Uh, I don't use it as a concealer. I take this much and I just go and tap it all over my cheekbone area. And, and there's only one color available. <laughs> so either this or nothing and that's just gonna illuminate this area also go down my nose a bit uh, then I'm using the Clarins no sorry the Lancome the flash it's like an illuminator and dab it over that down the nose too and over the lips and then just start tapping it in um sorry i had to get the my hair out of the way um, so once you have your base on what i do is um uh, remember to go in with a translucent loose powder this is the shiseido one i use a sponge like this i apply it to the tip and just work it under your eye. Then on the rest of my face to powder it, I'm going to use the Poudre um, Universelle by Chanel. And this is a this is a blush brush. I'm just going to take some and just slightly go all over my face. Okay, MAC 109 and Posy Cream Blush. What I like to do is that I like, I don't like to apply this with my fingers, but with a brush and just dab it on here. You can make it as intense as you want. Then whatever is left on the brush, after you dabbed and blended everything up here, you just bring it down a little bit on your on the apples, not too much. Okay, so we've pretty much already like contoured almost our cheek area with the blush. I forgot to um, apply moisturizer on my lips. And let me just, I'm going to have to finish my face, but apply Bare Study Paint Pot by MAC. And apply it all over the lid. Okay, to finish off the face, I'm going to take um, Benefits 10. I've been really liking uh, this for every day. So it's we're going to contour and apply. Uh, I'm using a 187 stippling brush to take that bronzy contouring color and just go in the hollows of my cheek. And bring it up on the temples. Then you want to take another stippling brush, a clean one, and take that highlighting color 
and just apply it here to make like a C and down the nose and over the lips. And then if you know, you can also, um, if you want some extra sheen, take a max shell and just go just a tiny bit over everything. Okay, then um, what I've been doing lately is I've been taking this, it's called Uniform Technical Liner um, Eyeliner Kajal. And the color is uniform. Sort of like a um, gray-brown. This is the color. It's an eyeliner, but I'm just barely going to touch my eyebrows to make them a bit darker and fill in. You know I have this face that is lighter in color than the rest. So just, so just a little bit. So if there's anything that you don't, you don't want them as hard, um, as like dark, just brush them out a bit. Well, you usually have to anyway. Okay, before we go on to the eyes, you just want to line your lips. I try to do this and this is the color I'm going to use and it's number three by Kiko. I just do this so that it soaks in and by the time I wear my lipstick, it'll have dried. Okay, so my lips have been lined and everything is ready. The only last step, obviously, are the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, so I'm gonna take Patina by Mac. This is Patina, and I'm gonna use a 217 Mac brush and just go over the lid area. So that base study as a base is going to help it to give it more sheen. Since I have a pale, kind of fair skin. Um, okay, now um, I'm just going to intensify the look. This is a, a Kiko eyeshadow in 06. It's just like a rich brown. It's very warm kind of brown. I'm just going to intensify my outer corner. Here. First, like swirl it. Just be very light, and then kind of bring in. Um, you want to take a fluffy brush and blend everything out here. Okay, then I'm going to take some Woodwinked and this is Woodwinked. It's just a gorgeous shimmery kind of color. An old wind and this is Patina. And you're just going to take it and on your 237 and just apply it here in the outer corner on the lid just to kind of like intensify and make it more like goldy and maybe if you want let's also put it underneath uh, um, now the stick eyeshadow from Kiko the number is 07 and this is how it looks like. I'm going to swatch it. And this is the color. I'm just going to go inside here, the inner corner, and bring it down. Same thing here. And then kind of like pat it in with your eye. And we're just going to put a little bit here in the highlight area, just a tiny bit. Because we have that bare study, so it's enough. And that's it. Um, this is a bedhead um, brown color, smudgy, brown smudgy. And this is the color. It's a very dark brown. 
over here. I am just going to line my waterline. Take a pencil brush and just apply some on your pen on your pencil and then dab it here on your hand. Once you dab it on your hand a bit, then you want to bring it down and smudge everything. By doing this, it's really like effortless and very delicate, the finished look. And also take it here on top and just like kind of intensify the outer corner just a little bit. You can also start at the lash line and then like just make little flicking motions. And that is what you want. Put some on your eye here apply some and then smudge it but you by doing this you can put too much you know so see see here how it's like more delicate and soft but now i have to put some more to make it the same as the other one okay i'm going to curl my eyelashes apply mascara prestige my blackest lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just applied mascara and I also applied mascara to my lower lashes. Um, this is the finished eye look. Now for lips, uh, this is Hot Lights. I got it in a swap with my um, one of my subscribers, Kelly. And it's really nice because when you open it, there's like little lights. So um, this is the color, let me swatch it. It's very, um, I really like the consistency of these um, lip glosses because they're not too sticky. It's very pretty, sheer, pinky, and it's going to go very well with that lip liner, which is going to like tone down the pink, obviously. There you go. And that is the finished bronzed um, look, similar to how I think Kim Kardashian wears it. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Bye guys.